welcome back to the Minecraft TNT show where the orbit ends on 14 and what I will be reviewing today is a wheat farm, an automatic wheat farm. Now, what this is, it is me showing you like all the best ways to build it and stuff, but I realised now that it's better to do the talking whilst I'm recording, so yes guys, let's go and see what we're doing. Hello YouTube, and I am going to show you now what this wheat farm is. With one flick of the lever, it is basically as simple as that. You flick the lever, water comes pouring down, switches all the wheat away, and you will just get the one or the odd one or two uh, stuck on the the platforms. So when this is all come down, you can easily just go in there and scoop it all up. Then you can go across here, <laughs> collect everything else that you want is here and yeah guys okay so then once you've done this you can easily you have two chests right you have this and that that's your siege chest and that is your wheat chest and it should carry about 42 to 48 pieces of wheat and I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how this works I put glass for you so you know um what it's like. And if I just break in here now uh if I can. Okay, here's all the reds and wiring. You need repeaters facing everything single piston. And what this does, all this redstone carries out through there. Let me just build this back. Now, right, all the redstone wiring comes through here. You have to build a massive hole if I just break through this bit right here. Um, I can find it. Yeah, right, the redstone wiring comes down through here. You have to have a redstone torch underneath that. Comes back down here. If I dig out all here. And then, as you can see, it goes all the way down here. You need a repeater in, like, roughly the middle of it. And then it should all come up here onto here. Which means you pull a flick of the lever, that will activate, and the water should come down. Then you should pull the lever switch again to do that, and that is pretty badass, according to me. Now, I didn't actually make this. I want to say thanks to a YouTuber who actually showed me this, but I forgot your name, sorry. So, yeah, sorry about that. But, well done for making this yourself. So, yeah, this is pretty simple as well. So, if I just... I'll probably like build all these seeds back now and I'll get a piece of bone meal so it's easier for them to grow as quick. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to speed this video up guys, so yeah. just going to test this one more time, see if it works. One flick of the lever, that activates, and it should all pour down, washing it. Some get caught on the side, but it's very unlikely. It's only like one or two or three or four. And then, if you just wait for them to all come down here, they're washing down. Now, I don't know how fast it comes, but it's much easier than collecting them. And yes, so I think we can flick off the switch and then stop the water coming. That'll block off all the water. Scoop down here, bring all the wheat back up, stick the wheat in there, and you come back as much more seeds than you first started with. Put the bone back in there, and then we'll go collect them. And it also keeps the soil nice and uh, moist, so it, you don't have to, um, oops, so you don't have to keep hoeing the ground. And yeah, I forgot to show you this. You might want to put some water by here, so it f floods all the way down to there, and you want to do it in the same as that one and that one over there. So, yeah, let me just build this back. Okay, guys, so hopefully you will use this wheat farm right here. A uh, big shout out to the th guy who thanked, helped me to make this. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's 
quite useful. So, thanks for watching. I've been Morgan 14 your presenter. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe to FPS Nexus. And I'm as you guys. Adios.